Good evening. This is Ella speaking. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, Latoya, right? Lakeisha. Lakeisha. Okay, I'm sorry. I got a Latoya coming okay. up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay. It's okay. How's everything? It's going okay. Mhm. Mhm. Okay. Well, I thank you for reaching out to me. You know. Um, as I am more than welcome to further assist you on your journey. Um, as you as you do know, I am a psychic medium. Um, and do, have you ever received a psychic medium reading before, or should I explain to you a little bit how I'll be conducting this session? Um, yeah, if you can explain it, um, the lady who referred me to you should explain it a little bit to me. Oh, right, right. You was referred to me. Okay, right. Uh -huh. Oh, all right. Okay, yeah. Give me, just give me one second real quick. Um. Okay, well, basically what I do is, um, as, I, as a psychic medium, um, I communicate or I channel information from your spirit guides. So throughout our session, I will be receiving uh, messages from your spirit guides, um, rather it's from the past, the present, or the future, I'll be receiving any type of messages from your spirit guides and will be delivering them to you to further assist you on your spiritual journey. So anything that might have happened to you in the past, the present, or the future, um, and if it's affecting your health or your spirituality, uh, most likely your spirit guides will speak to me about it, okay? Okay. Um, and another thing is uh, be mindful that um, with the spirit realm, there's no such thing as timing. So, again, um, I may be speaking to you about a situation even in your past life. I'm going to, you know, if that comes up, I'll, you know, provide you with information from your past life, you know, past life situations. But okay. But one thing for sure, um, before I call my clients, especially my new clients, um, I always do like a spiritual background check on them, okay? And I, 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 I get in contact with their spirit guides and I say, okay, well, this is a new person. Let You know, tell me a little bit about this person and how I can help them. And when I contacted your spirit guides for you, they said to me, no, she will tell you, allow her to tell you what it is that she wants questions for. So it's basically more so I'm feeling like they're telling me that you have things that you want to talk to me about. You have questions for me that you want some closure with or something like that, or you need, you know, some more guidance with. Um, and that's why you reached out to me because they did not really tell me much, but what they did say is allow her to ask her questions so that we can further assist you. But I am seeing right now, cause you're going to, I'm going to allow you to ask your questions, but what I am seeing right now is green, the color green. Are you familiar with the heart, uh, the chakras? Okay, you know the seven different chakra levels in the body? Oh, yes, I'm sorry, yes. Okay, all right, yes, okay. So what I'm seeing is the color green, um, the green chakra, dealing with feelings, dealing with trust, dealing with relationships, dealing with, you know, rather you're trusting too much or you're trusting too little or you've been lied to or or something dealing with relationships is coming up right now. But as I told you, but as I told you before, they are telling me that you have some things that you want to talk to me about so that you can get more guidance. But now it's like now they're like, listen, relationships, trust, love, you know, being I guess um being taken advantage of. You, does this sound familiar to you? Okay, okay, so then this is what you want to talk to me about, or no? Mm -hmm. It is. Okay, all right, so let's go. What's what's happening? Okay. Well, it's this one guy that I've, I've been dealing with him, and we've been, we've been kind of dealing with each other for about, 
um, two and a half years. And I don't know. I just he just he just really started acting funny, and you know, I, and I really think that he lies to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and like sometimes you know, if I call him or if I text him or something, and sometimes he won't answer. But he'll, you know, and I think he he lies when he says, "Well, I didn't see it or I didn't get it," you know. So you know, when you say that you feel like I feel like I'm being taken advantage of, I that that's really one of the major things. And then I think that he he seems lying to me. Um, yeah, because they are telling me, that's what I'm saying, they already telling me it's something dealing with relationships and it's, some, mm-hmm. it's dealing with lies, it's de- and they're telling me, they know you, they live with you, they're with you, your spirit guides are with you 24-7, seven days a week, when you wake up, when you sleep, all of that. So, basically, they're just giving me more information and they're telling me, listen, it's about her relationship or relationships where she has been being lied to um, or is not trusting in this person or the person is not trusting in her. Um, One thing about this guy, I don't know if you know, he's a slim guy? Yes. Okay, I see him. Um, He has a a baby mother or uh, two or one. How many children he has? Um, five. Five. Okay, right. Two baby moms. How many baby mothers do he have? One. Just, just one baby mom. Okay, so then I'm, yeah, so I am seeing different women. Okay, let me tell you about this guy here. Before you met him, anyways, before you met him, he was like a playboy um, type of guy. You got with him because you trusted him and he was telling you sweet nothing. He's a very charismatic guy. But this is one thing. Some people can get swept up in that charming, that Prince Charming thing. You know how sometimes people would just tell you things just to get what they want? This is the type of guy that he is. And now your spirit and like, you, it's more like you're, you're catching up on who he is. So you're no longer blind to his BS. So you calling him and all of this stuff and things is not adding up. So it's like an epiphany. So we're showing you, they're saying, listen, we're showing you that he is not the one for you. Anyways, like I said to you before, before you and him got together, he was already dealing with different types of women, old women at that. He likes dealing with old women. Um, What's his sign? Gemini. Ooh, Okay. You're dealing with opposite Sagittarius. So we we definitely dealing with the communicator, the manipulator. And I'm not saying that all Sagittarius and all Geminis are manipulators and, 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 um, and liars. But for the record and from experience, that's in, within the zodiac sign, that's who they are. My father's a Gemini, okay? He's, he's a womanizer all the way, totally, you see. Um, and he's old as hell, so... I mean, again, these type of men, and I'm not saying all, but mostly these type of men are the playboyish type of guys. They come with the um, they come with the Eshu Elegba energy, and Eshu Elegba is the playboy of the zodiac sign. So that's who you're dealing with. You're dealing with like the Prince Charming kind of guy. You t- you're dealing with someone that has like a a childlike spirit. You know how. They sometimes can be petty. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So this is who you're dealing with. So now you've come to a standpoint where it's like, okay, where do I go from now? Do I still remain in this situation with this guy or do I just let myself be free? But you already know what to do because you already feel it in your heart. And that's why... Your spirit guides are showing me the heart chakra because it's like, okay, should I go against myself or should I not? Because you feel it in your heart and it's dealing with the relationship that you're in and it's dealing with the trust. He's calling you, come on, this is 2015. You mean to tell me, you know, you texting the guy and you calling him and he ain't getting not one text, not one, not one call. For real, seriously. Get him, he'll, it's, just, it's like maybe one, once or twice he'll say, oh, I didn't get it. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know if he, when he's saying I didn't get it, I don't know if he meant I just didn't read it. Or, you know, I don't know. But it's not, it's not with every message, but it is with every one or two messages, you know, he'll say that every now and then. Okay. And again, and, the... Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm saying, okay, oh. you know, and again, it can be, you know, little messages or it can be a lot of messages. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But remember mm-hmm. when I told you um, in the beginning of our session, I said, y- your spirit guys already told me that you have something to talk to me about. And when you didn't, and when you didn't tell me, they was like, you know what, I'm going to tell you anyway. It's about relationships. Mm-hmm. And it's about trust, and it's about the heart chakra. So let me put you on to one thing, and I'm going to open your eyes up on something. If if you were in a harmonious and loving relationship, you wouldn't even have to be coming to nobody to talk about this or to seek any guidance. It's because you are not comfortable, or rather you're unhappy, or you have... Uh, 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 you have the re- you have a red flag up, quote unquote, and that's the reason why you're like, okay, I need to look more into this. I need to know what's going on. So if you need if if you're in a relationship with somebody and you have this red flag, that means that it ain't going good. It's 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 not comfortable. It's not harmonious. It's not you know what you're looking for because if you have to question your love one your mate then that's a problem. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the problem. I've been, I've been trying, you know, to get away. Like, I, I, we stopped talking for a couple of months, and then, you know, he'll come back with, oh, I love you, and, you know, so yeah. it's just kind of hard. Mm-hmm. Being charismatic, yeah, like I said, being charismatic, being, you know, the, you know, singing the sweet, sweet melodies in your ear, and you like, oh, okay, because as black women, you know, we tend to forgive a lot. We tend to, we're nurturers. We want you, we, we, we want to have that, that holistic family, or we want to have the husband and wife uh, vision in our life. We all do. We all want to be married. We won't all want to have children. We all want to be, you know, in a, in a, in a complete relationship. However, we should not, as black women, we should not have to settle. That's one thing. We should not have to settle. Why you gotta settle? Why you gotta settle for somebody that you think he doing something out there with somebody? Mm-hmm. Come on. And you know, and it's a good thing that you say that because, because I'm well, I'm, I'm married, but I'm separated from mm-hmm. my husband. Mm-hmm. And you know, we separated because he was cheating. But you know, but now it's like all of a sudden now he wants to be back together. Mm-hmm. You know, all this stuff. But I have. It, I just don't feel it. It's like it's something that it's something else that's going on with him. It's just I don't know why I'm just not feeling it. Like I don't feel the way I felt before for him. You talking? To, which one? Which one are you referring to? This is my my husband who I'm separated from. Like he wants to get back together and put the family back together and stuff. And it's just something. It's something that I can't put my hand. It's just the way I feel. Like I don't know if he's still doing something or. I don't know. It's just a funny feeling that I have. Who who who's the one that drinks? They show me somebody that drinks. Both of them drink. Oh. Um. Now, the other guy, yeah, he drank a little bit more than my husband drank. Okay. Does one of them have a bald head? No. Or a low, a low, a low cut. Both of them have low cuts. Um, one of Taller and slimmer than the other one. Who brown skin? Uh-huh. Give me a second. Okay. Do you have a question? Just do you have a question in pertaining to your your ex husband? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, should I should I get back with him or should I just go with the way I feel? You should should definitely. You should definitely, let me say something, you should always definitely go with how you feel. Like, that that right there, that's one thing for sure. Because if you go against how you feel, just like the situation now, you're dealing with this guy that you know something is up, and you're going against how you feel because you're still in this relationship and you know something. 
something is going on. And I'm telling you that this guy, this new guy that you're dealing with is a liar. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you. I'm confirming this to you. I'm I, I I'm not here to, to I'm here to help you, you know. Um and this is what they're telling me that, you know, this guy and as a is a liar and something with trust and issues. But as a result, I'm gonna tell you one thing. As a result of 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 continuously keep dealing with guys in a relationship that is lying to you or is not being honest with you, you're going to begin to impair your heart chakra. You're going to begin to be cold. You know how some, some women be like, yo, I can't even be in a relationship no more because I can't trust anymore. When you get to that point, it's very, very hard to open yourself up to a, you know, a loving and sincere man. I don't want you to get to that part. So that's why I'm telling you now, you have to begin to, you know, release yourself from these type of men and get into doing like these heart chakra meditations so that you can be pure within yourself and you could attract the man that you really want. Now, let's go back to your husband. Okay. You have three children or two children with him? Two. I'm seeing the boy and the girl. Yes, I have a boy and a girl. Okay, give me a second. Okay. One of them is like eight, seven. Who? who Okay, okay, so it's it's eight and nine. And how old mm -hmm. is how old is the other one? Thirteen. Okay. Um, no, well give me a second. Okay. The one the reason why I asked you about the son that was eight or seven is because the um your spirit guys are telling me that he's the one that really wants you guys to be together. Um, as a family. Um he didn't have a family in his past life. So as a result now, he will strive to get the both of you together. He's really close mm -hmm. with his father. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Give me a second. Your your husband, your ex husband, yes, he does want to be with you, but he has to change. He has to be for real with changing his habits, okay? Um, and if he doesn't change his habits, then the relationship is not gonna go far. If he really changes his habits, then perhaps it will be more successful because you gotta give people second chances, third chances. You you done married the man, you gave him two kids, you know, children or whatever but you should not compromise yourself for someone else's habits you know you should not you know settle for your ex-husband's bs only because he's telling you that he wants to be with you in the name of love no way mm -hmm. you know you have to be happy within yourself in order for it to be divine now, I'm not really getting a bad vibe from your ex-husband. What I am getting from your ex-husband is that he has habits that I'm not sure that he's ready to break. And it is those habits that you yourself shouldn't even have to settle for. I don't know if he has a spending habit or a habit with something, but there's this habit thing going on with him. Um, that is not really uh, conducive to your relationship. What is the relationship with him and his mom, your husband? They're, him and his mom, they're really close. Yeah, right. They're really close. Right, yeah. And I always say, and that's, that's why I was like, look, because your spirit guy said, look at the relationship with him and his mom. That's what, they, that's <laughs> what they're telling me. So that's why I asked you, what is the relationship he with... Everything. Yeah. So this is what I'm telling. Right. So peep this. I mean, I don't know if you believe in this, but for me, um, I always say if a man has a good relationship with his mother, he's going to have a good relationship with his wife. Mm -hmm. So when you look at these different things in terms of choosing who you want as a mate, you got to look at it because these there's certain men out here that don't even got their mother. 
it's certain men out here that grew up with um seeing their father beat on their mother there's certain men that you know grew up with a mother being a crackhead you know and as a result them too have some type of emotional issues but this is not the case with your ex-husband or your children's father he has a loving relationship with his mother so as a result he will have a loving relationship with you but he has addiction problems i don't i'm they not pinpointing telling me exactly what it is but he has some type of addiction problem i don't know if he likes porn i don't know what it is but you 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 know um mm -hmm. you know but um that 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 you know habit of his if he's not really really serious about letting it go then that's what will give the relationship problems because then he will have to sneak behind your back to do what it is that he wants to do and he shouldn't have to do that mm -hmm. you're his wife well you know however you call him and stuff but yeah that's what i'm picking up with your ex-husband but your your this new new one i um I, I, mm, I don't i don't really that but again it's your choice but i'm i'm not really okay. getting a good feeling with this guy yeah it's just so i guess it's just so hard to i got to i got feelings for him mm -hmm. so it's kind of you know i can stop but then you know we just always seem to be right back you know so that's, you know, that's the problem is, like, letting go is the problem. Yeah, letting go is the problem. A lot of us, and I, you know, I always tell my clients like this, you know, it's one thing to have a bond with someone, but when you're attached to someone, that's a different story. The reason why it's hard for you to let go is because you are attached to this person, and you yourself shall have no attachment to no one, and no one shall have no attachment to you because attachment is not real the bond is real do you have a bond with him or do you have an attachment with him or to him or for him i, I think it's, it's to me it feels like a bond i don't know because we don't it's like we we have i mean i don't when you say an attachment um are you talking what, what do you mean like attachment like, meaning it's hard for you to just let him go Meaning you don't know what how life will perhaps be without him or you know, oh, oh no or rather or rather this, oh no, like I don't wanna let go, you know, I don't wanna just end this relationship and it's like why don't you wanna end this relationship? It serves it serves you no good. Like why are you having issues with or you know, why are you having a hard time with just letting go? Right before, and, and I kid you not, you can even check on my Facebook, I just, right before calling you, and this is perhaps why I posted this, I posted, I said, why, I said something in terms of um, why should we let, why are we having trouble with letting go of things that no longer serves us any good? Why are we having so much trouble? Why, why not free yourself? Why not free <laughs> You we, know, and we've tried. We, we've tried. I'm like maybe two, two times. I know for sure to you know just completely stop and just let it go. But I don't. I don't know. For some reason, it's just. I don't know. Let me tell you something. Anything opposite Sagittarius, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I can testify to it. You know, Sagittarius men. For some reason, and I know he's a Gemini, but he's opposite Sagittarius, okay? You, you got to follow me with that one. Are, are you familiar with that? Okay. So, he's a Gemini man, but opposite Sagittarius. Um, Sagittari I don't know what it is about Sagittarius men, but they are very charismatic, and they're just... The, they 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 have that that I guess they that power or they have that like um that that magic that that just keep a chick humble like they, it's like it's like 
you know, yes, okay, you know, they don't see, we don't see bad in the Sagittarian men, and they just are able to just do what they want to do right in our eyes, and we just, just let them do it, I don't know what it is, and that's the same with, as a Gemini, a Gemini, you're dealing with two entities here, you're dealing with the physical entity, and you're dealing with the spiritual entity, so he could be either or, he could be righteous, or he could be a a, a, a hole. You see what I'm saying? He could be rather righteous or he could be an a-hole. So, I mean, it, it's your choice again. Um, but has he it did, has he confessed to you that he deals with snow bunnies too? No. Um, yeah, he's always told me, you know, he, cause he, he likes really, really dark women. But, he, but he's never told me that. He's never. Now... You know, we always, like, joke around with him about it, but he always say, no, I love black women. I never, you know, mess with a white girl or, you know, whatever. Well, he, he may not he may not have sexual relationships with them, but I'm not really seeing a white, white girl, like, but I am seeing some, like, a Latino or mixed, you know, like, some Italian chicks that they have, like, they're mixed. Okay. Like, I, I see him dealing with these type of girls, but I'm not saying that he's having sexual intercourse with him. Now, with my, him. my ex, now, he, I know he has before. Then that's probably who they, the then, yeah, woman. that's probably, then that's probably who they showing me. Because they're okay. showing me. Yeah, these, he will. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I said, he, he like any type of woman. That might be the addiction that you're talking about. No, it's that yeah. one that you're telling me. Because he likes any oh, type okay. of woman. It's that one. Mm-hmm. It's that one that you're telling me. Yeah, it's no, that I one. No, I was saying my ex like any kind of woman. Yes, yes. And that's okay. who they're showing me. Yes, that's who they're showing me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Because that that's the thing. When you channel, you when I speak to you about certain things, I don't know if I said it to you before, but your spirit guides are going to show me things that happened to you in the past, present, future, so we okay. dealing with, if we dealing with different men in your life, so they okay. will tell me, they will show me different men in your life, and who they used to deal with, so we, he'll, they'll even tell, they'll even show me your childhood boyfriend, if that comes up, if he's still relevant, but um, they are showing me your ex-boyfriend, and they are telling me that, you know, this person, this is who she, this is who he likes. This is who he's dealing with. So if you're now confirming that, no, this is my ex-boyfriend, then now you have confirmation of who this person really is. Okay. And who, what, you know, who, how he, how he roll in a sense. Okay. Because your spirit guys, they're not going to say, they're not going to, they're not going to say this is Jack, this is Tom, this is this. No, they're going to just show me. And I'm going to just right. tell you. And you are okay. the one to decipher and confirm, okay, well, this is that one. Because we're dealing with these, you know, you, you got you got, you got, got a couple of brothers, you know. <laughs> but, you know, for the most part, for the most part, um, out of, you know, out of this these different men or whatever, I, I really am um, going more with, um, your children's father, you know, although you may not feel that way, um, I wouldn't even tell you to go against how you feel, but the messages and how I feel myself with him, um, I feel like he will be the best in a quote unquote relationship, not even a father because he's a good father regardless, but when we're dealing with relationships, um, I feel like he is more suitable for you in a way where he's not going to lie or mistreat you in a way. But again, he does have like these issues, like some type of habits that you don't like. And I don't know. That's something that you have to work with or rather you don't have to deal with. Um, what's the relationship with you and your father? Well, my, my dad, he, he passed. Okay. You mm -hmm. was a daddy's girl? I was. I see, yeah, I see you sitting on his lap. 
Is he short? Uh huh. Okay, you want to speak to him? Oh. <laughs> um. He's telling yeah. you to be wise. He's telling you to be uh-huh. wise. He's telling you to be patient. And he's he's telling you to follow your heart. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. With anything that you do, you have to follow your heart. This is things that he told you when he was alive. To to not second guess yourself and to be all that you can be. And don't let nobody take your shine. Um, you know, or they'll take you out your zone or whatever. Don't let nobody like dim your light in a set in a sense. You will be successful. Go with your heart is what they're saying is what he's saying, your father. And he's okay. He has a brother that passed away, too. Uh-huh. He's dead together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. He said hi to everybody, the the uncle. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. He has, a, he has a lot of children. Mm-hmm. My dad? The, the uncle. Mm-hmm. My uncle did. Yeah. yeah, he's saying tell everybody I said hi and stuff. They say they over here hanging out. They hanging out. They like fruits. They eating fruits. <laughs> yep. Oh wow. You're the oldest one. No, I have a um, I have a I, I older half brother oh. and a um older sister. How many children all together? Four. Because it feels like you're the youngest one or the oldest one. Because I'm the youngest girl. Oh, you're the youngest girl. Okay, that makes uh-huh. sense. Okay. You're the youngest girl. Then that makes sense. Because it just, that bond, this, 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 this scenery that he's showing me is like, it's like he's very protective over you. Um, uh-huh. And he's take, he he's showing me taking you to the park. Where are you guys from? Um, from America's Georgia. You from Georgia? You had a house or a, a a house? Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Okay, the house. Hmm. Mhm. Wow. I'm just, I'm just look, I'm just watching this movie that he's showing me. Actually, um, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking at what he's showing me. Again, he's just showing me. Um, him taking you out to the park and, you know, having daddy time. And he said that he used to read you stories or tell you mm-hmm. stories. He used to tell me a lot of stories. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's telling me. Yeah, he tells you stories. Oh, that's nice. Uh-huh. Um, don't, girl, don't, he's telling you, he's coming strong with don't second guess yourself. And everything that you want or, you know, whatever decisions that you make uh, is coming from the heart. Make sure it comes from the heart. Make sure your heart is pure with what it is that you want. You know, don't, don't, don't do things, I guess, for emotion-wise. Or, you know, how sometimes people get mad and they just curse people out or whatever. Like, that's because you're, you're yeah, in your... Emo- the last night, you know, this, I, this- that happened last night. Oh, okay. Okay, so then that happened last night. Okay. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I guess I was just so upset with him, and I just, I just had to say this what I was feeling at that time, mm-hmm. and, you know, I, 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 I probably hurt his feelings or whatever, but, 